There's something special about being in water. It uh, connects you to a part of yourself that you don't usually have access to. I think we just naturally grew up with the outdoors as our kind of playground. <laughs> it was the delayed. Ooh, ooh. My grandma, her name was Grandma Wild. She was always really keen that we'd go up and be outdoors as much as possible. You could just tell how much she loved it. I think she wanted us to figure it out for ourselves. Like, everyone needs it. The three of us were in different cities and you get wrapped up in your little city world. Working in London, I think I did like two years there before I really started going around the bend a bit. There's a million clubs and a million bars, all these things you can do, but there's nothing that replicates that kind of sense of freedom. I think as I drifted through life, I was getting lost or further away from someone who eight-year-old Callum would have been proud of. I realised how much that childhood meant to me. I was like, okay, this is the time, like this is the time I need to do something different. I wanted to come up with an activity that was connected to the Lake District where we grew up. So I kind of just thought of, why don't we swim the river? The river that went past our garden. The Wild Swim Brothers kicked off with Callum's idea to swim the entire River Eden, so the 90 miles, I think about 140 kilometres. It was just a moment of feeling like you're in the right place and that what you're doing is good. This is what you're supposed to be doing. Not only do I feel this, but I'm connected to these two people who I know better than anyone else in the world, and they feel it as well. Swimming in cold water simplifies things, at least for a short period of time. Immediately just roots you in the moment. I don't realise as I filmed any of that. Oh. <laughs> Such an amazing transformative journey together that we then decided we can't, we can't stop this. We were desperate to keep escaping the city as much as we could. I was like, well, we know now we can swim 140 kilometres, so why can't we do the swim in the Arctic? We swam the three biggest, most powerful maelstroms in the world. We swam from Europe to Asia. We thought we'd pay tribute to Grandma, and so we swam the length of Loch Broom, because that's where our, our Grandma Wild's from. We swam to where she's buried and laid a reef on her grave. If there hadn't been someone like Grandma Wild in our lives, we wouldn't have had the drive to do this. And a lot of people haven't had access to it, haven't been privileged enough to be in nature often. It is like a release getting out of the city, but it's much deeper. You become much more in tune with what you're thinking, what you're feeling. I don't think I could ever call anything I've had depression, but uh, I have been completely detached. I know that the amount of it that I felt has been 
helped hugely through swimming outdoors. I still need to live in the real world, the 21st century. I need to pay for the things that I need, but like the quest for achieving more or buying more doesn't really lead a lot of people to happiness. And if having a closer relationship with the natural world, having a closer relationship with the people who you spend the majority of your life with makes you happier, why is that mad? It's just incredibly important that people try and reclaim that joy, the childish joy of being outdoors. Thank you.